Hey guys and gals, Mr. Know-It-All here. I'm glad to share this video with you. You're going to love it. Let's get cracking. Julio, tell everybody where all the tools are located. Thank you, Julio Cesar, Chavez, Rodriguez, Jorge, Johnson, Thompson. Let's get her done. All right, you see this beautiful Florida Tropic Beauty peach tree and how well it's doing, how healthy it is. And it's planted in clay believe it or not and they need good drainage let me show you how to make sure when you plant something in the ground and it's in clay how to offset the clay and make it work for your own benefit all right here is the same exact tree not doing so well let me share with you why this one within a couple of months will look just like that one I just shared with you and what you'll need to do if you're planting in clay even if it's red clay so I've done this one already and we're going to do this one here and then we're going to do this one here and they will be big and beautiful This is what I'm talking about. That is uh, red clay. I tried to cheat the system as I said. Thought maybe I could make it work without doing the extra steps. But you won't have to do what I'm doing right here. If you do what the video shows the first time. All right, I'm overheating. I gotta go take a break. GoPro stop recording. All right, this is what you do when you overheat at 7.30 in the morning here in Florida. That dirty dog. Then I like to score the sides where the clay is. And all you do is jump down in there, stomp it down. All right, now here's what you do. This is the secret to it right here. All right, there it is. It's about uh, two and a half feet deep. And we're going to do this next. All right, you just fill the hole up, the beach sand. Like that, put the rest on top. That is your drainage. Now what I'll do, and I like to use uh, raised bed mix to mix in the rest of that. I leave that right where the hole is, right there. 
Now if I would have done this when I first planted it, I wouldn't be doing this now. But I'm always thinking ahead on what kind of videos I can do for you guys. Now we're going to add a little bit of the old fertilizer. About half a bag. And then more bedding mix. And this is what will go around the sides, around the sides and next to the sandy hole, the drainage hole. And that hole will suck up water, not too fast, but just enough to let it drain. And they say not to use your hands, but I know a lot of farm kids that grew up pretty healthy. Julio let me use his hat. Thought that was nice of him. And this is what we use to keep the plant upright. All right, now we're going to measure it, see where we're living. We're about 10 inches to the bottom of that. Now, if you're going to put anything over the sand, use the bedding mix. It looks pretty good right there. Perfect. Soak it down good till it's flooded. And then with that sand in the bottom, once you plant it, give it about three gallons every day for the first two weeks and it'll take right off. But I'll do an update on this tree. And of course we're gonna do this one. And this poor little bugger here. And the sad part is I got about 30 peaches off this thing and they were awesome. But you can see uh, we've got that one all done. I thought I could cheat and I lost. But you guys win because now you know. And yes, I'm sweating like a madman. Time to go cool off again. <sighs> Mr. Know-it-all, out.